All right, so in a previous video, I showed you how you can take an existing GeoGebra um, whiteboard template and, and turn it into a class and use it with your students. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make that whiteboard template in the first place, because maybe you don't want uh, the exact features I provided in my whiteboard template. So I want you to know how to customize it and make it your own. So let's get started. And so I'm in my GeoGebra account. I'm gonna click on the nine squares up in the upper right hand corner. And I'm gonna, out of all of these, I'm gonna select GeoGebra Classic. This is just the way I do it. There may be other ways to do it. And really all I'm gonna do is create a blank um, a whiteboard, a blank GeoGebra applet. Uh, so one of the things I need to do is I need to go in this three bars up here and I'm going to click on the view and I need to get rid of this algebra panel. So I'm going to turn off the algebra panel. This graphics panel is what I want to, to keep. So I'm going to, that's everything else right there is perfect. Um, the other thing I want to do, uh, let's make, uh, let's say I'm going to make a, just a, a gridded uh, whiteboard. So at this point, I need to get rid of the axes. So right here, did you see where I, I clicked? Not on the three bars up here, but I clicked on this little icon here and I turned off the axes and it's starting to look exactly what I want, but I, I don't need these minor grids. I only like the major grids. So I'm gonna click on the sprocket and I'm gonna click on grid and I can change to major grid lines. But man, there's just so many things I could have isometric if I needed to, I could have polar. Um, I mean, I could have both the major and the minor, but I'm gonna go straight to just major. All I need is the major. Uh, I can change all of these other things. I could change the color of the lines if I want. I mean, there's just so much that I could do just right here alone. Right? And so I'm basically now done. So I'm gonna click file, save, and let's name it whiteboard template and I'm just gonna label it version one because I might have some other whiteboard templates in my account. So I'm gonna click save. And it's saving down here. You can see that it's saving. All right, and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into my GeoGebra account and I'm gonna refresh the screen and here it is. All right, and now this is the whiteboard and this is what my students are gonna see. It's not quite exactly what I want yet, uh, but um, you can see it and you can also see I've got scrolling and panning going on here. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna have to do some more customization here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on these three dots and I'm gonna edit the activity. So I had created the thing in the app and now the whiteboard in the app. Now I'm gonna edit the activity, which is the screen itself, all right? So I'm gonna edit the activity and I'm gonna click on the pencil. And here I can rename it if I want, but I'm not going to, because it's perfectly named. And I'm gonna scroll down because down here is where a lot of the money is. So I'm gonna click on advanced settings and I, you know, I need to choose a, a size of the canvas that's gonna fit on a lot of my students' screens. So I know a lot of my students are using Chromebooks. Uh, so I'm gonna do something kind of moderate, 800 by 700. There's my thing, my, my size of the canvas, and you can see it's automatically resizing as I go. Uh, I'm gonna turn off that panning. I am gonna leave the icon to reset. So the kids, <laughs> it's like panic button. If they just made a mess of their screen, they can always just click that reset button and kind of start all over. But I'm also, you'll notice, I don't have my pencils and my pen and my eraser and all that sort of stuff that we would need in a whiteboard. So the way to get that is to turn on the toolbar. And if I go back up, we can now see that the toolbar is now there. In fact, all of the entire, all the tools available in GeoGebra are there. Now, technically I am done. So I could click done. I can ignore that thing. Boy, okay, there. And I can click save. And look at that. I now have a fully functioning uh, whiteboard. I'm done. I, I have the free, free, uh, free hand shape which I really like. If I need a straight line, I just draw a straight line. If I need a something that sort of looks like a square, I draw a square and then it, it 
kind of makes it. It's it's really powerful. Um, and then if I need to insert an image, there's my insert an image button right there. Um, and there's my delete. Now, technically I'm done. And at this point, uh, I if I'm in a hurry, I post this and I'm now available because all I have to do is click that create class in the upper right hand corner and I'm good to go. But if I want to customize these tools, because there's just too many tools available for my students, let's do that. I'm going to show you how to continue refining what your whiteboard looks like. So I'm going to click Edit Activity to get back into that activity. And here we are. And I'm going to click on that pencil because what I really want to do is edit this applet right here. And uh, so I'm going to edit the applet. And then I'm going to click the three bars. And I'm going to go down to Tools. And I'm going to customize this toolbar. All right, so here are all the tools available in the default. That's the default. Now, I automatically know I don't need any of the point tools. I don't need any of the line tools. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to imagine I just kind of want a classic whiteboard that has a pen, uh, an eraser and a zoom in and a trash or something, you know, nothing, nothing overly fancy. Okay. So now what I happen to know is I want all three of these. All right. So I'm going to move them out of the, uh, there out of, uh, the, the, the compressed, the, the, the big menu. And I, now they're each their own separate item. All right. That's what I want. And then let's look in here and in this list, uh, I definitely want students to have the ability to add text and definitely add an image. So I'm pulling those outside of this menu list and, and then everything else in that menu list I'm going to get rid of. So I'm just going to drag it out. And then in this menu list, a lot of things that I'm going to want to keep. I want the move the canvas button. I definitely want the zoom in and zoom out. Uh, and then I definitely want the delete. Everything else in this menu menu list, I'm gonna get rid of, I'm gonna just drag it over here. And there is my list, uh, but I wanna put it in a nice order. Uh, so I like the, the move tool to be the two move tools. This move moves objects, this moves the entire canvas. Here's my two pens. Uh, let's see, I definitely, oh, sometimes the image goes next to the pen. I don't, you could customize where everything goes here. Uh, but once you've got the toolbar items and in the order you want, you just click apply, click done, and then you'll ask click done again. And then finally you click save and there you are. And it's thinking, and there you go. You have your official whiteboard exactly the way you want it. Now I'm, I don't have an image on my, I do. I, so I'm going to click image just to show you what that looks like. Oh, let's uh, goodness gracious. Do I have something here? Sure. There. Good, good enough. All right. So boom, there's your image. <laughs> As horrible as that is, <laughs> I don't know why you would want that image, but there you go. So now you got the you got the full package, don't you? So that's how you do it. Uh, and then, of course, when you are ready to turn this into a class, you just click that class button and it is now available for your students. Now, of course, don't forget if you want if you're if you want your students to have more than just one canvas, you go to those three dots, you edit the activity. Right now, the class only has this one canvas. Okay. Now I'm going to, it's annoying me. I want it to be a little bit wider. I feel like my students can have it a little bit wider. So oh, I'm going to make it a thousand by 600, let's say. I don't know why I, I decided to do that. Oops. What did I do? Oh, cause I did a hundred, a thousand. <laughs> by 600. There we go. There, that feels like the kind of canvas I'm aiming for at this moment. Now, if I want more than one of these, I just click this button right up here. That's the copy button. And now I have two of them and click it again. Now I have three of them. I can now hit save. And now I have, what is it saving? 
there you go. I now have a fully functioning whiteboard template with all the options that I want. And I have three space for three examples for my students to work on in this um, example. And that is how you, you, you make your own canvas and uh, your own whiteboard and then duplicate it and give it to your students.